I'm absorbing it all, Sherry. And, and, and I'm sure it happens where people come back to you and, and they just say, look, this, this is, it's too much. Like this is, this is too much work. I mean, how, how do you respond to that? Well, I say, I told you yesterday I was at CalArts and I was listening to some of the classes that were going on there and they're, it's the directing track. So I'm listening to what all the directors have to do. They have to know how to deal with actors and, and all the technical people on the set and, and composers and um, you know their craft of how they're going to set up shots and all this kind of stuff. And then you start putting on them and the marketing. <laughs> you know? I was like, I'm already overwhelmed by all the stuff you have to do just to bring this you know, project into fruition. But I can, I can see why this is an overwhelming thing. Now that's not an excuse to say it doesn't need to be done. It, it will have to be done. And so you will have to have some help. You will have to be able to delegate. It's, it's, it's not really possible. And people don't make films all by themselves. This is one of those aspects of things that you can't do all by yourself, probably. Now, do you have to have a team of 30 people? No. Or a team of five people? No. You could do it with just a team of one person and a few outsourced jobs. You know, a web designer to get your website up. He's not a full-time guy. He's just doing that until that's completed. And then, you know, you have you know, other aspects to it that are just sort of outside workers. But you would want to have somebody who interfaces with those people that can get that done and not well, you're, you're still involved in the process, but if you had to be pulled off on something else, you could have that still taken care of. It doesn't fall to the ground while you're sorting out a fire somewhere else. Um, but it, it I, yeah, it definitely is overwhelming. Um, and the other question that I got was, how do you expect us to do all this stuff even in, within our own professional life when we're trying to get our movies made? And to that question, I say, especially for people who can remember life without the internet um, or life without social media, that there was a time when we didn't have the internet and we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have email, and we have had to fit those into our life. You know, that we are now expected to be contactable 24 hours a day, no matter vacation, weekends, whenever. And you ha haven't said, well, I'm not doing email because I, I just don't know how I'm going to fit that in. You adapt it. You learn to fit that into your schedule. And this is one of those things. But also that if you really think of it as a creative process, something that you naturally just use in your life to bounce ideas off of people, to network with people, um, it doesn't become like this separated duty. It kind of becomes part of your life. You can't imagine. I, I mean, I can say that I'm probably already addicted. Whenever I go somewhere, I want to take an Instagram picture, you know, of something and share that. And it's just, just is, you know, I don't think about, oh, I should be taking pictures for Instagram. It's just like, oh, I see this. I'm going to share it. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that people are going to immediately respond and I'll have tons of, of likes or whatever, but it accumulates, you know, it goes into your portfolio and people can look at them later and that kind of thing. So I know uh, production people get used to new programs, new software, new equipment that comes out and they've got to learn it and they figure it out. They, you know, know that they have to stay on top of that for their craft. Um, adaptability is something that they have to have. And so this is one of those adaptability issues that's going to have to start being incorporated.